Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the common base configuration of an NPN transistor. Output characteristics of an NPN transistor. So, in this case, VBC is the output voltage, IC is the output current. Keeping IE as constant, we are going to study the characteristics curve of VBC versus IC. So, before going into the concept, we have to recall this equation IC equal to alpha IE plus IC BO. This IC BO is the reverse saturation current. So already told there will be reverse saturation current if the temperature of the device increases. In the previous video when I was discussing about the CE configuration uh, working I have talked about this uh, reverse saturation current which can be neglected. So IC will be equal to alpha i so alpha equal to 0 0.96 to 0 0.98 so this is 96 to 98 percent of the electrons from the emitter region reaches the collector region so the equivalent the proportional current collector current will be produced so this is the meaning for this expression ic equal to alpha i so now when i said i e equal to 0 we can expect very very minimum amount of collector current so because i is 0 near to 0 when i is 0 we can expect the collector current also the same manner now i am starting from this portion i am setting i to 2 milliamps so we know the relation IC equal to alpha IE. So the collector current is also going to be in the same manner. If I set IE to 4 milliamps, we can expect the same pattern of curve. So we can join this region. Similarly for 6 milliamps high. Just like the CE configuration, here also we can mark the active region where base emitter is forward biased and base collector is reverse biased. This is the cutoff region. In cutoff region, what happens? Base emitter is reverse bias. Already base collector is also reverse bias. So there will be no collector current. Collector current will be our output as usual. Now in saturation region, both base emitter voltage and base collector voltage will be in the forward bias. The transistor acts as a switch. The current, continuous current, collector current starts to flow through the transistor collector current so this is the explanation of the output characteristics of a cb configuration npn transistor thank you 